So uh, to put it simply, Black History Month is a time that has been set aside, a nationally recognized time, to actually explore and then really get invested in a part of the history of this country and this world as a whole that often doesn't get talked about. A little bit of background on Joe Lewis. So Joe Lewis was raised in Detroit. He was actually born down south. Um, he moved to Detroit when he was about 12 years old um, into an area that was known at that time as Black Bottom, um, which unfortunately doesn't exist. But that's where his family moved to when they moved up here. Um, what's really interesting is that he got into boxing basically to avoid being a part of gang life. He was really proficient at it and obviously became the heavyweight champion um, but what's really cool is that he was a person that was always giving back to his communities and so he bought locations when he started earning money as a champion um, in the boxing room started buying locations uh, to support his family and his friends um, but he also as you stated he bought a farm in Shelby Township in 1938, we all know Joe Lewis was a, a world champion boxer and bought Spring Hill Farm to use as a retreat for he, Joe and his family. Well, Joe, not only was he a, a, a world champion boxer, and he loved to box, but he also loved horses and he loved to ride and he loved to collect different breeds of horses. He had something like 20 different horses. So over at Spring Hill Farm, he built stables and corrals and he also wanted to have people a lot of people around him he was very friendly and and liked lots of people around so he also turned spring hill farm into an entertainment center he put in a restaurant a clubhouse at the at the uh, house he built a dance hall he installed barbecue pits and uh, picnic areas. It is actually in Riverbends Park. It's on the Woodall side and it's near the uh, archery range. The house isn't there anymore. It burned down in 1972, but there are some foundation stones that you can see. You can see kind of where the house was. And there is where he was doing his training uh, for, and he bought a stable. So he had a lot of interest other than boxing. He was an avid golfer. He's actually the first African-American to ever play on a PGA golf tour. He was um, a military man. He served in World War II from 1942 to 1945. Uh, he was actually in the same regiment as Jackie Robinson, the first African-American to play professional baseball. His sense of community um, left a legacy, which is why we honor him in Detroit so much. There's, if you're ever down on Jefferson Avenue, you see that giant fist. Um, the Red Wings used to play at Joe Lewis Arena. Like we, were, we, we honored the legacy that he left because he was, I want to say an acceptable human being, um, but he was an accepted human being. <laughs> 